Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all staying safe out there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle. I'm currently in one of the lockdown red zone areas in Sydney. So I've created a lockdown food review series. I've purchased quite a number of items from Aldi, Coles and Woolies supermarkets to review while I'm staying at home. Today I'm going to review on the menus chicken and bacon ranch burger. And I haven't had much luck with some of their other burgers that I've reviewed in the past. You can see some of my other old videos for that. So we'll just see how we go with this one and let's get started. Okay, on the side of the box quickly, you've got the nutritional information and all the ingredients. As you can see, there's plenty of ingredients that go into this, this little frozen burger. It's 175 grams and 408 calories per serve. Now the mother company for on the menu foods is Vesco Foods. So that's the distributing company and they're situated in WA. So I'm going to heat this up now and test it out. Okay, so I only nuked it for about a minute and a half. It says two minutes on the box, but I've learnt from um, previous on the menu products that just a nuke it just for a little bit less time. I have a thousand watt microwave, by the way. And this is the presented product. I know it's bacon, it just doesn't look like bacon. And it has um, the ranch sauce underneath and the crumbed chicken patty. And that's it. Of course, you can spruce it up if you want to. Uh, just take it away from its tray, it's pretty hot. It smells, I can smell a little bit of the chicken fillet and I can smell a little bit of the ham, bacon, and I can definitely smell the bread. And because I didn't leave it in the microwave too long, um, the bread is still soft, and this is just after a few minutes, so that's good. So basically with these uh, on the menu items, try not to leave them in for the recommended time. These are already pre-cooked, so it's just a matter of reheating them. So if you don't leave them in too long, you won't have that hard bread syndrome happening. Let's see if I can cut it. Ugh. I need a saw. That's what I need. Okay, that's what it looks like inside. If I wasn't doing a review, I'd probably spruce it up with maybe some smashed avocado, a bit of tomato, some lettuce. Some of the ranch sauce has gone on the table. I'm not a fan of ranch sauce, but this one's pretty mild. It's not a bad tasting ranch sauce, but I have had ranch sauces where I, I just found them a little bit too overpowering and too strong. But this one's not too bad. Now in terms of the burger itself, it's flavorless. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Um, yes, the bread is uh, nice and soft this time, but yeah, I can't taste anything that's outstanding to me. Um, it just tastes like a little bit of chicken, a little bit of uh, bacon that I can't even taste the flavor of. Uh, stuck in between uh, two little bread buns basically unfortunately it's not as flavorsome as some of the new subs that have come out like the uh, Kranksky uh, hot dog and the even the meatballs um, sub was actually quite tasty but this thing doesn't have a great deal of taste to it it tastes quite bland the chicken itself is not hard it's nice and soft it's not chewy um, but it just it just hasn't got a great deal of taste so I mean I'm, I'm not disappointed because I was kind of expecting this burger not to be anything special to be honest I am glad that the bread has turned out a little bit better look if you could be bothered you could uh, uh, spruce this up and add extra things to it but if it's a two o'clock in the morning snack who's gonna be bothered to smash avocado or cut up lettuce and cut up tomato and put it in there nobody so I don't know I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm glad I tasted it. It's okay, but for $4.40, no. Um, I do know that the on the menu products are on special at Woolies this week, 30% off, and they had a full stock of these. If you want to go out and try it, be my guest. Let me know down, down in the comments section below if you did try it, and let me know what you think. Okay guys, that concludes my video tonight for on the menu chicken and bacon ranch burger. Uh, I don't know if I'd buy it again, probably not, um, yeah, that's just the way it rolls, I guess, 
thank you so much to all my supporters thank you so much to all my new subscribers and thank you so much to all the people who have been supporting me from early on to Aussie I know it's you that's giving me the thumbs up as soon as I post a video I'm pretty sure it's you um, judging from the timing of the comments and the thumbs up I'm pretty sure thank you so much for your support I promise if I run into you again we'll do an impromptu video somehow thank you so much Roger the Pirate and Wilbur it's Australia you guys are awesome you're always you know supporting everybody's channels and I promise to support both of your channels as well you guys are pretty cool and everybody else is supporting my channel thank you so much guys I really appreciate it I hope you're enjoying my content yeah I'm still a bit of a rookie I know I've got a lot to learn I'm getting there I'm you know I need to get a better editing program I need to get a graphic designer I need a lot of things I need another camera that will come in time I guess so in the meantime I hope that you enjoy my raw reviews <laughs> stay safe guys and I will catch you soon bye